Microsoft announced a new multi-year, multi-billion dollar reported to be $10 billion investment into OpenAI. Can you describe the thinking uh, that went into this? Uh, what, what are the pros, what are the cons uh, of working with a company like Microsoft? It's not all perfect or easy, but on the whole, they have been an amazing partner to us. Satya and Kevin and Mikhail are, are super aligned with us, super flexible, have gone like way above and beyond the call of duty to do things that we have needed to get all this to work. Um, this is like a big iron complicated engineering project and they are a big and complex company. And I think like many great partnerships or relationships, we've sort of just continued to ramp up our investment in each other. And it's been very good. It's a for-profit company. It's very driven. It's very large scale. Is there pressure to kind of make a lot of money? I think most other companies wouldn't, maybe now they would, it wouldn't at the time have understood why we needed all the weird control provisions we have and why we need all the kind of like AGI specialness. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that because I talked to some other companies before we did the first deal with Microsoft. Um, and I think they were, they are unique in terms of the companies at that scale that understood why we needed the control provisions we have. And so those control provisions help you help make sure that uh, the capitalist imperative does not affect the development of AI. Well, let me just ask you uh, as an aside about uh, Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft. He seems to have successfully transformed Microsoft into, into this fresh, innovative, developer-friendly company. I agree. What do you, I mean, it's really hard to do for a very large company. Uh, what what have you learned from him? Why do you think he was able to do this kind of thing? Um, yeah, what what insights do you have about why this one human being is able to contribute to the pivot of a large company into something uh, very new? I think most CEOs are either great leaders or great managers. And from what I observe, have observed with Satya, he is both super visionary, really like gets people excited, really makes long duration and correct calls. And also he is just a super effective hands-on executive and I assume manager too. And I think that's pretty rare. I mean, Microsoft, I'm guessing like IBM or like a lot of companies have been at it for a while, probably have like old school, kind of momentum. So you like inject AI into it, it's it's very tough. Or or anything, even like open source the the culture of open source. Um like how <laughs> how hard is it to walk into a room and be like the way we've been doing things are totally wrong. Like I'm sure there's a lot of firing involved or a little like twisting of arms or something. So do you have to rule by fear, by love? Like what can you say to the leadership aspect of this? I mean, he's just like done an unbelievable job, but he is amazing at being like clear and firm and getting people to want to come along, but also like compassionate and patient with his people too. I'm getting a lot of love, not fear. I'm a big Satya fan. <laughs> so am I from a distance.